of the River Kingdoms lies an old Pathfinder Lodge, once thought lost. A lodge shrouded in secrecy and mystery, driving many to believe that its goals are not that of exploration, but of more nefarious purposes. Recently, an unknown venture captain has reopened the lodge and recruited a new group of Pathfinder agents to do its bidding. Whether their goals are to benefit the society or something much more sinister is yet to be seen. Welcome to Tales from the Black Lodge. Hey everyone, welcome to Roll for Combat Tales from the Black Lodge. I'm your GM and host, Steven Glicker, and in this week's episode, the boys continue their exploration of the city and slowly, oh so slowly, start getting more people to join their great escape. So one thing you might have noticed in these last two episodes is that they like to talk, that they like to plan, that they like to think everything through. And one of the reasons for that is that we are very much accustomed to first edition D&D, which is perhaps the most deadly version of any game you've ever played ever. It is mind-bogglingly hard if you ever play true first edition D&D. I can tell you the story of the wizard I once rolled that had one hit point. And eventually, when he got all the way up to level 5, he had 10 hit points. Think about that for a second. Anyhow, we are accustomed to that, and we're also accustomed to adventure paths, which have long, complex stories. So, they got caught up a little bit too much in the minutia, forgetting that these are Pathfinder Society adventures, and they are really much more straightforward, and much more what you see is what you get. Because in reality, you only have four hours to finish these things up. And one of the things is we are doing a podcast, so we have as much time as we need. I try to keep the final episode within in four to five hours, but in reality, we're probably going closer to six to seven after I cut out even more things that you didn't hear. But I do have good news is that we've actually talked to the team and everyone understands that really they're overanalyzing everything, that they really need to just get on with the action, keep going with the flow, and worry about things as they come up rather than trying to plan out every single thing in advance. And for those of you who found this maybe a little too much, I apologize for that. As of all the things I expected, is uh, long analysis was not one of them. But I've kind of gotten them up to speed of society play. This is new for almost everyone in this podcast. Except for myself, most of these guys have played society only a handful of times, so they're not used to the brisk pace and fast adventures. But they are starting to get the hang of it now, especially after I talk to them. So one thing I do want to mention is that I think a lot of these guys are really on edge. Between the fact that they're in the city, they realize that they can't fight their way out, and that their characters were built a little bit more for fighting than for role-playing, not that they can't role-play, that they're on edge. For example, not a single one of these guys has society trained, which is like the first thing you ever want to do when you build a, oh, I don't know, society character. You always want society trained. It comes up all the time. No one. Five characters, not a single one of them has society trained. The other thing is our guest star this week, Rob Tomarco, has a fighter who is built to fight. But you know what? These are the type of ventures I like. I like going against the grain. I like taking these fighters that are built to fight and throwing them in social situations because they fail? No, but because it's funny. And actually, when they succeed, it's even more rewarding. Having poorly built RPG fighters succeed in role-playing situations is some of the most satisfaction you can get at the table. And also, I must mention, this is probably the funniest episode of Black Lodge by far. It really gets crazy, especially towards the end. The end just gets totally goofy. If you like to laugh, I think you're going to like this podcast this week. So a few quick show notes. It looks like PaizoCon is going to be going on, but online only. And right now, 
I am planning on doing something for PaizoCon. I'm not exactly sure what yet. Uh, I'm probably going to try to run maybe a game on Twitch. Maybe have a couple of panels where you can come and listen to us talk about various things. If you have any ideas of things you might want us to cover, let me know soon. Because I am putting together the schedule for PaizoCon. Working with Paizo, obviously. On getting myself plus the team on the schedule. So if there's anything you're interested in, please let me know. Also, don't forget, if you want to watch us live, just join our Patreon. I had a free session last night where we had Eric Mona join us for a quest. And that podcast won't be released for probably six to eight more weeks. And that it was funny. It was a quest, and quests are supposed to take one hour. Uh, our quest took four hours, so you can get an idea. Tons of role-playing. Eric is an incredibly, incredibly good role player. It is also funny to listen to him talk about the rules, and half the time he'll be like, oh yeah, I know that rule because I wrote that rule. Or, oh yeah, I know that item because I wrote that item. So it is a lot of fun when you do play with the developers and they start telling you about the things that they made that you are playing with in the game. Anyhow, last night we had a free version where people can join and listen and watch the game for free, but normally you just have to become a $10 patron and you can listen and watch us twice a week. We now have full video, everyone's getting cameras, so you can watch us and see everything that gets cut from the show, and it's actually a lot. I'd probably say you only hear about half of the show on the podcast. And then, of course, don't forget the RPG Superstar. Right now, you can enter up to two monsters, but I might change that. I might make that three monsters. That's right, you can enter another monster. Just go to RPGSuperstar.com, enter today. you still got about six weeks. There are tens of thousands of dollars worth of prizes, and you can win more than once. So just check it out, and you too can get the chance to win. But with that, let's get to this week's show. Uh, yeah, so you wake up in the morning, you find Mr. Peepers, you're all back to your normal selves. You all have a, a meal fit for a king, and Verna feels much better. And she's like, oh, I I can show you and help you if you want to know where the Shard Cove is. I can lead you there. Um, do you need any information from me about that? I say, well, we... We do know where it is. We were led to it. It uh, exits the sewer and it goes right into the water, yes? Chris Beamer is playing Thorgan the Lion, a dwarf redeemer champion. Yes, yes, that's right. And she talks to you about it and your description matches it, so you seem to have found it. She's like, oh, that's that's very good. And you, you tell her Filch uh, showed it to, to her and she, she understands and says, okay, yes, we could we could leave that way. I I was told that that's an excellent way to get out. It's a little hard to find. Rumors have been told that people use it to smuggle things out, but it's tricky, as you can see. And sure enough, you did know it was very hard to get to. It was a lot of tricks and turns and small mm. corridors and so forth. And uh, to Nix Knox's point of uh, keeping the ruse up of the place being still under uh, uh, sick, you know, with the sign in the window, like, we should maintain that for the next four days we're like okay sounds like a a great idea a great idea she goes on to oh, uh, and, and if and if anyone asks say that we are indeed merchants who have a keen interest in your fish seth lipton is playing nix Knox, a goblin fire elementalist sorcerer we're like hmm that's a smart plan smart plan she she goes on to explain and ask it's like so so what's the plan how are how are you getting us out of here hmm I, I already told your father what our plans were. He can he, he can appraise you. We but time is short, and we must uh, and we must leave to take care of the rest of the passengers. Oh, okay. I just wanted to know because the cove is pretty deep. Uh, you have a boat. How how are we going to get to the ship? We have that all worked out. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know. I guess you brought one down there or something. Excellent. That that will be very useful. Uh, you know, otherwise, well, there's no way to get to the ship, obviously. <laughs> but you knew that. I, uh, I'm i getting very suspicious. Uh, uh, that. that's, that's so <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> and I, so and I do suspicious. She's asking too many questions. Oh, yeah, a lot of questions. I don't know. Well, now she's asking you how are you going to get the ship? Because it's a big I open group of water. How are you getting to the ship? 
I know. We we know. We know. She doesn't need to know. We know. Okay. <laughs> That'll be fun. So I, I try I try to hurry us out the door. I try to get us out of here. Yeah, yeah, we got things to do, so we'll 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 be back. Okay. You guys can just this more tonight. Off on your own. All right, so we think we want to go to uh the guard, right? Guard, yeah, gar garlic garlic. What, what? Yeah, garlic. What, what's our approach? We should have some kind of cover story for why we want to talk to him specifically. Um yeah. Garla. Or her specifically. Who knows? We could say where we need we need a guard to investigate a break in and give them. Jason McDonald is playing Nella Amberleaf, a human wild druid. Yeah, I was I wonder if there's. Yeah, I wonder if we could actually. Yeah, it's like I wonder something like that if we could actually leverage Mister Peeper's side adventure into an excuse to talk to him. Like, like something like is it plausible that not exactly like a parole officer, but uh, on the way out the. Uh, like Mr. Peepers was given some advice that maybe Garla could uh, like assist him in finding work or something like that. Or what about um, we say we saw someone breaking into Mr. This, this person's house and it's Mr. Flitch's house and there is break in signs. Oh, that is a very good idea. That is, yeah, we, the, the, yeah, is, 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 that, that is, but why, why that guard specifically? Like that, because if we that could guard, tie up that, that guard left the note under the flower pot. No, but well, well, that that's not what we want to reveal. Like, I'm, I, I'm assuming like we're going to go to the guardhouse. There's going to be some guard that isn't Garla, and we're going to need to talk to that guard to find Garla. That's that's my assumption with all this. And so it's like when we're when we're the having that interaction, house, where we're the going. owner of the house specifically requested him. Yeah, I mean it says he, em- the note says Emerald Guardhouse. Ask for Garla. It says to ask yeah. for her. Yeah, is so Garla there? We need to speak to her. Right. That's all. I mean, yeah. say, what for? There's a matter we need to discuss with her. Something like that. Yeah. All right. Well, Mr. Peepers is going to show you guys his, his new tattoo. And he says he thinks that this tattoo will get him past any guards. John Stats is playing Mr. Peepers, a halfling thief rogue. Mm. I'm for it. He's not it's, sure. It's, it's, looking a little, not. it's looking a little infected. Sorry to say. He's, he's not sure what the tattoo is about. He forgot, but. It, it should probably get us past any guard situation. You spend another two hours fighting through traffic, and you get to... Hold on. You get to the Emerald Guardhouse. Columns of this wide building are carved in the likeness of the rune Lord Bellamarius. Its wide courtyard is filled with practice dummies and other evidence of martial training. Guards are beginning and ending their shifts, and you see a short line that's formed outside the door of a recruiting area where a guard stands stationed. What do you do? I absolutely use my uh, warfare lore knowledge uh, to make whatever evaluation of the scene I can. Like, you know, like for example, if they're, if they're hop to is snap and sharp, or if they're lax, or... Any, any any kind any kind of useful any kind of useful details that an unschooled eye might not. This is a general guardhouse and recruitment area for those who wish to become guards. It seems to be in pretty good order, and everyone seems to be doing. I wouldn't say a spectacular job, but they are doing a, a above average adequate job at their jobs of being guards and going through their motions of changing uh, changing stations. All right, so who wants to be front man for this? Uh, is is one of us trained in, in diplomacy? Yes. You are actually trained. I am diplomacy. trained. I am, so I've, that would be... I've got, I actually have charisma. It's, uh, so, okay. So, so well, why, gonna, why don't you do it? Let's get, let's I'm going to do it. Um, all right, so there's... Uh, sit, describe this again. Is there like a, a reception desk of sorts? There's a... It's a... Wide building. There's a courtyard filled with practice dummies. There's a line where people are lining up to be recruits, and there's just guards milling around, and that's kind of it. There's one guard that looks like might take questions. All right, I, I, I will. I think I should probably go alone. What do you think? We shouldn't go with a big, you know, party unless you think we can be I, I, close I agree. By. Yeah, close I agree. By. All right. So I agree. I need my oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? No, you know what? Actually. Uh, I have a cover for you if you want to if you want to use it. The cover is okay. we're we're unfamiliar with the city. 
uh but some but but when we came in somebody at the gate suggested garla as a good guard to uh, give us certain directions only if they ask for but only reason. if they but only if they ask for a reason right? like just like you speak to garla please and they'll be like garla like don't offer more information than you have to right right but if they're like why the hell do you want to talk to garla and start giving you pushback yeah, that's on a good that? one. You know, you could be like, we're you know, we're, we're merchants. The the when when we came in, we asked like who like who could ask who could ask certain questions we uh, we want, and they said Garla was the person to talk to. Okay, sounds good. I, I will use that approach with this guard. What are you gonna do? I say I walk up to the guard. I say, excuse me, sir. I am a merchant, new to this town. Here you can see my papers, and I freely present my papers. He casually looks at your papers. He says, "Yes, yes." Yes, I say, I, I. You did the it. opposite of what we just told you to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you led it. You led Man, with it. Look, sh- you're not there. I, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to be honest. No, I'm no, you're, you're, so, you're above board. You're Mr. Honest. You, you, I want to be above board. The other way was let also him, honest. Let him go. Let I him say, do his own I thing. Did, okay, I say. I no, say if, no, guess who's going to be in jail next <laughs> with a tattoo? No, I know. I say. So. Being new to this town, I was hoping to get directions, and I was told to ask for guard Garla. Is she available? He looks at you and says, uh, uh, I've never heard of anyone with that name before. Uh, this is the Emerald Guardhouse, yes? Yes. Did you describe this person? I have no description. I've, Like I said, I was from out of town. I was, asked, I was told to ask for her, but uh, to sort of get an uh, idea of the, of the lay of the land and where the best places are to go. For what I wish to purchase, mm, no, I never. There is no Garla. No. Would anyone else? Would any other guard know of this person? He says perhaps there's a lot of guards. If you want to ask around, uh, I've never heard of. This I'll person. ask around. Thank you, sir. Okay, and I do so. I leave him. Okay. I actually go back to my my group and say, "Well, that 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 didn't work. <laughs> I can I can ask other guards though." Okay, but just don't. Fling around the information. I fake papers. <laughs> no, no, uh, that's just a, 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 give them papers if they ask. Right, so that's freely. What? Uh, but there is no like. If we go further into this structure in this place, there's no like, uh, like a, there's no reception, huh? There's no like. I think it's know, just it's just concierge. a guard. It's just more like a hall, like a meat hall, but with guards. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I am, I, I am pro, like all my alarm bells are going off of this like it would be like if the if the guards really wanted to lay a trap and like we're wondering if filch was right. smuggling people out of the city you know like leaving a note with like with like entrapment like leaving a note with some coins and saying go to the guardhouse and ask for garla and just like wait and see if he shows up and asks and asks for garla you got him you know like, i mean i don't think it's i think you're reading way too much into it it, it is. It does it. If like, they how, wanted like, to kill us, they would do it. Wait, from from my from my evaluation, actually, from my from my military uh, knowledge evaluation, did, did I get a, did, I, did I get a sense for how many guards are stationed here? Like, if it's if it's an enormous amount of guards stationed here, then it might be likely that he honestly doesn't know Garla because because he doesn't because everybody doesn't know everybody because there's so many people. Dozens, dozens. Uh, so how, I mean, how this, many is, this is large. Dozens? This is large. Yeah, yeah. Dozens, if not hundreds. This is a very large area. Like, because it's uh, it's they're they're shifting, they're changing shifts here. So this is one of the main guardhouses and recruitment stations. So, yeah, it's a very good chance that they don't know everyone. Okay, so so it's not completely implausible that this guard, no. this one random guard that we picked, no. happened to just not know who guard. That's was. correct. All right, is it, All right I mean, can I try I again? Sort of somebody try. try again. Try some of other guard. Yeah, uh, I, I'll do that. Asking casually, ask around. Okay, you can find another guard and ask if they. Uh, you know, they seem to be a little bit more relaxed here, as opposed to out in the city where the guards are, are almost a little bit more wary. Uh, obviously, they're in the stronghold. I don't think they're nearly as jumpy. And again, this person you speak to does have never heard of this Garland person and just sort of shrugs his shoulders mm. and keeps going. Do we know and do we know anything about this flower pot, like where that that sort of trade craft thing happened? Because maybe we should use the flower pot. It was it was it was Filch it was it, it was Filch's place. This is what it says. Filch brought me Fletch. a note. He, a Fletch, sorry, brought me a note. He found underneath an overturned flower pot on his windowsill. So oh. the that place that we're at that was Filch's place. 
or Flitch's place, his windowsill, overturned flower pot, that's where the note was. Yeah, so it doesn't sort of really necessarily make sense. Although maybe she's a guard in that district and can walking around and can see who that. Who knows? Who knows? Or, or like we just be or be on guard. Found out that be on guard felt like found out that like learned that Flitch is connected and use that information to, to like based on that. To, I don't. I mean, we're going we're at, we're going to the Emerald Guard House and we're asking for Garla, and there's no <laughs> that ain't working. She may be out of luck. I said may, maybe maybe third time's a charm, but I think after three, that that's starting to look shady. Yeah, I, I, I'll add, ask a, a little more. Uh, someone else. Okay, you go up to Something. someone else and you ask, and this guard seems to be rather nice. He's like, "Oh, you you here to join the Emerald Guard?" Oh, no, not today, sir. Oh, shame, shame. It's so much fun being in the Emerald Guard. I love it. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, you seem to. I do have some uh, knowledge in the ways of uh, soldiering, and and looks like you have run a tight ship here. You're doing quite a good job. But I am looking for someone who I was recommended to me uh, would help me with some of the layout of the city. Garla, a guard here. Are you familiar with Garla? Hmm. Garla, you say? Yes. Never, never heard of him or her. Man, woman? Sounds like a woman's name. Yes. Hmm. Fascinating. Nope. Never heard of her. Okay. Uh, sense motive. <laughs> Perception plus five. He seems to have never heard of this person's name. Wait, do you come back and talk to us? Yeah, I come back. Well, as you walk through. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Seth, stop talking. Uh, no, no, I'm done. I'm done. While he's walking back, he accidentally bumps into a guard who says, <clears throat> it's a good time for recruiting, and then continues on her way. Oh, it's a, a, a woman, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so where is she walking then to? Uh, she's rec- walking to the recruiting area. Okay, so I will. I will actually then... Uh, you know, sort of give my compatriots the uh, a wink, and I, you know, sort of nod a wink and a nudge, and I walk to the recruiting line. I guess uh, is she going to be someone who you talk to if you wanted to recruit, be a, become a recruit? Well, there's a line, and one of the guards looks at you and says, "If you're here for recruitment, get in line." Okay. Okay. And I get in line. <laughs> okay. That's going to be fun. Mr. Peepers ends up in jail. We have Thorgrim is going to be joining the Emerald Guard. This is quite the adventure. I'm sure I have good, they have good pay. You're, to- you're totally joining the French Foreign Legion, dude. I say that's fine. Wait, so so this, this, this guard that you bumped into, is that the guard with the paper and pen at the desk that you're going to now right, that's what like, I was actually talk to? Like, I'm keeping my eye on her. Like, I want to see exactly where she goes. Okay. Well, this you can sense motive on. I will do so. You know that she is not simply trying to recruit you, but seems that she was definitely asking you to follow her. Ah, okay. Well, then I will, because I'm sure she's going to sort of walk someplace out of sight, and so I'm going to follow and make sure I don't lose sight of her. No, no, she's on. She's uh, she's right there in the recruitment line. She's oh, like, she's she, oh, she introduced you and told you, yeah. But she definitely wanted you to follow her. So you uh, wait online. You get up to the front where she is there with pen and paper. And she looks at you and points at her uniform and says, If you like it and you have what it takes, it could be yours one day soon. Just tell me the time and place. Ah, uh, excellent. Uh, and I do so. I say, Rockfish in. Uh, we're on this. We're on very low, right? And then this is on. This is day four, right? We have to leave day four. We're on day two, right? Correct. In two days. She says, "Hmm, fascinating." So she asks if she can see your travel papers, just to make sure everything's in order. Of course. She looks at your papers. And actually, I mean, I don't know who else is around, but um, I mean, these people know us to be pathfinders, yes? God no, if they knew uh, that. Then- you would be no, no. I mean the. Either. I mean not not the not the no. Like the people we're trying to we're giving passage to. Do they know that they're getting they're getting saved? They're going to get uh, brought out by Pathfinder. Unknown. Uh, no, no. I, actually, the opposite of that. It's like they're expecting to get to get brought out by the by their patron. That was the whole setup. 
It's like even on back oh, of the okay, note, right. they're expecting to be dealing with yours truly, so you need some assurances before closing the deal. Like they don't know who we are. That's a problem. Okay, good. That, that's fine. She she goes on to explain. Says, "Hmm. So once again, where are you staying while in town? The jail." <laughs> Hey, don't give me up like that. <laughs> she looks at you with a cockeyed and say, you wish to go to jail? I thought no, we had a um, time and place. And she... Uh, oh, okay. So she wants the actual time and place. So uh, then, uh, what's the name of that cove again? I mean, this is very tricky because, I mean, she could be a fucking traitor too, you know, It's but whatever. We're here Just now. tell her we got hammers and, tell and we get weapons. Yeah, I, I tell her. Tell her what? Uh, what's whatever that? What's that cove's name? The uh, I don't, I don't remember. The I cove. Meet us at the cove. Co- hot um, cove. Two days. Hot soup cove. Okay, I'm telling her to read us at the rockfish inn because that's yeah, what yeah. I'm you doing. you had actually previously told her to read us at the rockfish inn in two days. Like you had actually communicated her directly and explicitly. Rockfish yeah, inn. Yeah, so I don't days. understand. Well, you said that. that occurred. That occurred all. That okay, occurred let's back right. up. You said rockfish inn. She's asking once again for time and place. Because you didn't, okay. you just you didn't give enough detail. So, so like, so like, rockfish in at at, at, at midnight. You know, like the, that is that is that what you're saying? Like, you need, you need that. Are the rockfish you know, rock, in rock, rockfish in at sundown? Of, rockfish the morning, in the morning of two days from now. I mean, the exact day, Thursday. She makes some small talk with you, asking if you will be a good addition to the Emerald Guard. Do you have what it takes? I have way more than it's what it takes. Hmm. Like I'm way better than any one of these other recruits, just so you know. And she, in the mention of talking to you, she says, Well, I hope you have what it takes. You know, I have a friend of mine, a guard named Elevard, who's scheduled to work at the docks three days from now. Yes, we can. I understand. I understand that that can be taken care of. Hmm. Well, I hope you have what it takes to become one of the guards. One way or another, in two days at dawn, or maybe three, at the docks. And with that, she tries to quietly hand you a small black notebook. What do you do? I will stealthfully accept it. What is your stealth check? Is it thievery? It's stealth. Uh, No, it's literally stealth. Stealth. Uh, ooh, that's I'm sure it's a big fat nothing. <laughs> no, it's worse than nothing. It's negative two. Yeah, he's got armor. He's got nice fat armor, clanky armor on him. So she hands you the book. What do you do with the book? I just i I put it in my pocket. Okay, as you um you take the book and put it in your pocket, you start leaving, and then another guard quickly runs up and says, Excuse me, sir, that does not belong to you. Can you please give me that book back? Uh, excuse me? Can, 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 I, can I have seen this and interject? No, you're too far away. Yeah. Where are they, by the way, from where I am? They're, they're like 100 feet at least, plus away. And you guys are in the recruitment area now. You're on your own. Um as soon as, uh, as soon what's, as what's the as soon, what's the ra- what's the range on breast of the station? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the, not that. But as soon as that happens, she comes up to you and says, "Oh, that's that's okay. I, I a slip of the mind." She says, "It's like I I didn't mean to hand him the book. I had a piece of paper, his receipt for signing up. It was a slip of my mind. I, he's innocent in this. Sorry about I that, mean, good sir." Would, yeah. It's just so unrealistic. I mean, it's so easy to hand someone something. Who's going to give a shit? Like, really? You know? Well, yeah, like, this yeah whatever. Involved. That's the rules, buddy. You fucking yeah, understand. understand. <laughs> well, she, um, uh, she, she, uh, she, she is seeming to vouch for you. And the guard yeah. takes the book from you and get, hands it back. Does to... the book have any writing on the front cover, at least? No, I can see it. no. It was just a black yeah. notebook. And, uh, and she takes it back. Pockets it, nods at you, and walks back to the recruitment station. Does she give me a piece of paper instead? Um, no, she she does, but it's literally <laughs> just a ledger. Blank. Of, yeah, yeah. Of your, what you were just of uh, like fake recruitment. All stuff. right. So I, what I'll do then is I will go back to to my group. I'll, I'll relay everything that happened. I say, look, Mister Peepers, 
this might be your time to shine. She wanted to hand me some information, but we got caught because I'm, I'm, I'm lumbering oaf. But you could probably just sort of walk by and maybe do some kind of handoff. Yeah, sure. Who, who do you want me handed to? Uh, I want you to receive something from her. But, and I say that. Oh, you, I, I, you I didn't get it. it. No, I didn't get it. They took it from me. Uh, oh, well, yeah. Just just point me out to her. And I do. I said, she's over there. She tried to give me this book. It could be have valuable information. I don't know. But um, don't make sure no one sees you. Because okay. <laughs> we talked only out one time. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can create a diversion. All right. So I'm going to do a stealth check to get over there so nobody sees me. Or is it like bright light? It's a recruitment station in the middle of a guard post. There's what are you trying to do? There's a line to like to you could wait online as a recruit like yeah. I did and do that thing. There's a zero oh. percent chance that you're going to be able to stealth up to a guard station in bright light in the middle of the day. And all out. right, how long is this line? Is this longer? Is this like an all day long line? I don't. I don't. Mm, want it's to like an hour or two. Oh, that's, <laughs> an, no, an no. hour or two? <laughs> no, really? Yeah, it's like thirty. The line goes down. Yeah, you guys have been doing this for it's about like lunchtime by now. You guys have been doing this for a while. Can you get the fast pass? Pay extra? Nope. All right. Well, I stand in line. Who cares? You stand in line. Boom. You Eventually, you get up to uh, you get up to her, and then she looks at you and says, "I'm on my lunch break." No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny as hell. She looks at you and says, mm, "Papers, please." All right. He wiggles his fingers. At her and just psst, like that, and then he likes makes this motion and he hands yeah the papers that he gave the guards. Sure, why not? She looks at it and she starts filling out your paperwork to join the guard. <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even know who you are, and she's quickly filling out using her papers and says, "Oh, that's odd, you." You're only in town for a few days. You wish to join our city and our society already? I mean, guardhood is our road to citizenship. I absolutely want Mr. Peepers to join the guard, get assigned to the drunk tank. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right. So he's going to, he's wiggling his fingers. Is she, is she just going to ignore that? wiggling the fingers an international symbol for something? Whatsoever. I mean, like, like, what? Like what? What is her response when he does that? Like when he says, "Here, give me the thing." He doesn't know what you're talking about. She's signing you up to become. This is the line to join the Emerald Guard, which you obviously want to do. All right, so Mr. Peeper says, "Here, give me my papers. I changed my. I'm not going to. I'm not going to join the guard. This is this is a waste of time." She's like, "Oh, uh, okay. I understand. That makes sense. Uh, well, good day to you, sir." And calls over the next recruit. Okay. Oh so my God! All right. Uh, uh, to, uh, all, you all you had to do is say her name. All you had to do is say her name or whisper oh her. her. You, you guys, you guys go and before before we lose another day, you I, we're, let's split the party. You guys go and talk to Temlin. I'm going to get online and I'm going to take care of this book business. Yeah, yeah. Get the book. Get the book. You got stealth too, right? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, no oh, one like is... you, would, there, you would have no reason to know her name if you whispered her name. Then, then she would be like, she would totally get onto it. I would think. And I let you know that. So, so we got, so so we got, we got Themelin and we got uh, Daffrid. Those are the two other loose ends we need to tie up before we can start actually acting. So maybe, maybe like, do, do you want to like wait around for me, or do you want to go and see if you can, if we can two birds one stone this? I think we should wait because that's gonna get too crazy. It's up to you. I'm getting online. You get online. It's a busy day at the recruitment station. You should have actually gotten online behind him. <laughs> I he, absolutely he should have known. I, I should have <laughs> known. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Mr. Peepers, the world's worst thief. <laughs> <laughs> you are so in character, though. You're, there's every little bit of this is every like you're like because I, I the, the, your first episode character description 100. percent Every single episode is 100. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Thorgrim, um, Mr. Peepers, the fl- the blame falls squarely on Thorgrim. This uh, he said that sh- she didn't give him anything. Like he wiggled his fingers and 
she's pretending that she doesn't know what's going on and it is turns well, out to a big waste of time yeah it's a big waste of time you should have had to mention her name or whispered to her like you could have said something to her you said anything to her in a <laughs> hushed tone and no one would have <laughs> heard you fingers. i said give me the thing give me the thing i said you didn't that say and... shit you didn't say shit you went I... with my fingers no, well, I did that, but I said, "Give me the thing," and she, she like, what? <laughs> I mean, you're, that's a weird halfling so. thing. She doesn't know from that weird halfling thing. All right, scene. well, what are the magic words that I need to say that's going to get her to give me the thing? If you said the word wait, garlic, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> just, just wait until I get in the front line, and you'll hear it. Okay, all right. So, all I'm right, do that. more we'll time get goes in line. by. We'll both get in line. <laughs> you're both getting in line. Oh my god! All right, you both get in line. <laughs> Big Knox goes first. Again, it's like an afternoon by now because it's going to take a while. It's going to be your whole day since it's at this recruiting station. And you get up to the front of the line. She's there. And she's like, papers, please. I was like, oh, yes, yes, of course. Excuse me one second. Where did I put those? You see, I'm not from here. And actually, I see. So, so I've been, yes, yes, I heard, I heard many very good things about being a guard here. And while I'm doing that, I'm taking out objects in my pocket, pretending to look for my papers. And I remove uh, my basic crafter's book, and I put that in the de desk in front of me. I take out... Uh, I take out a, a set of tools. I put that in front of me. And while I'm telling the story, this pile of personal belongings is, is appearing in front of her. Uh, it, it, a very like, where do you hide a tree amongst a lot of other trees kind of way. And I drop the name. And it's like, yes, and I heard some very good things about the guard while I was staying at the inn. What was the name of that inn? Yes, the Rockfish Inn. It was a very, very good inn. They said that it was, there was some guard there. There was, it was the, the, the proprietor there said, said to ask for a certain guard, but I couldn't remember her name. Garla, I think her name was. And uh, I was there with some companions. I was, I was there of a couple of dwarves. And they said a lot of good things about the guard. And they said that, that being a member of the guard would give you all kinds of extra benefits because we're, we're, we're actually traitors. And it's, it's, the, the being within the guards would actually give you so, uh, extra access to uh, 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 for trading opportunities with the guard itself. Uh, and and uh, maybe if I could only find this guard, I might be able to confirm that. And I'm looking for any hint of uh, of recognition on her she, part of what's going on. She gives you an arched eyebrow as you say all that, and she says, "Oh, I see you're here with the rest of your friends to become a recruit. Looks like you're the sharpest one out of all of them." Oh, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. In fact, I'm a little bit scatterbrained sometimes. Like, look, oh, see how long it's taking me to find even these papers. And then I finally produce the papers. And I hold the papers in such a way that she could easily, with one hand, put something amongst all of my other belongings on the table. And I hold them out there in that way, kind of noting what other guards are looking where to, to, to make my papers block that. She uh, takes your papers and notices this and says... So, you said the inn is where you heard of this Garland person. Yes, yes, yes. The Rockfish Inn. The Rockfish Inn. We are the, yes, I'm, I'm going to be staying there for a couple more days. I think for two more days. Two more days, you say? When do you think you'll be leaving the inn? Oh, then or very shortly after. Mm, in the morning, you think? Oh, possibly, possibly. But I might stay another day. I don't know. We haven't decided yet. I see, I see. I hear that inn's beautiful. Very, very nice place. I've always wanted to visit it myself, but you know how it is. Hmm, well. Oh, it's lovely. I, and I heard from the proprietor that on that last day, which is probably part, part, part of the reason why I'm deciding whether or not to go that day or the next day, but they're going to have a special on fish. Hmm, yes. Can never have enough fish from what I hear. Oh, it's very, very high quality at fish. It comes from very, very far away. It's very difficult to get around here and back. Mm, you, you are going to be an excellent addition to the guards. I can tell right away. Although you might be a little scatterbrained and a little bit forgetful, I can see there's intelligence behind those eyes. And with that, she is giving you back your papers and tries oh, to... I ha oh, I have one more question. When 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 joins the guards? This is just provisional, right? You can you can leave almost at any time. Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not. 
It is a, uh, no, no. It's a oh, position. Well, we're only a position for life. But if you wish to become oh, well, a member see from my... of this society, oh well, this will definitely not work then. Oh. No, no, this will definitely not work oh. then. You can see from my own papers. Look right here. Like the, 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 this is only allows uh, for us to remain in the city for a very short time. Like like as you're aware. So, so, so I guess so. Oh, it's so sad. But I guess this won't work out. Oh, I thought I thought you wanted to become a member of our beautiful society, a member of our amazing city, and. Join the uh, illustrious Emerald Guards. Well, you never know. But, like, it, it could be in the future because we hope to uh, develop a trading relationship with this city. Uh, and that is the reason why we're here. And perhaps then we'll be able to return. And maybe, and maybe we could work something out then. But as you can see, I'm limited. Bureaucracy, you know. I'm limited by the papers. Yes, yes. Well, if you don't wish to join, why don't you move along? And she obviously tries to slip the black book in with the rest of your... Papers. And I put my papers away. I put my papers away, and I go to move, and I say, "Oh, oh!" And, and I turn back, and it's like, "Oh, yes, my stuff." And then I pick up all my crap. What and I pick is up the book what is your stealth? Trained plus five. <laughs> it's still not that great. I will give you a bonus. I know. It's first, first level, man. First level. Yeah. 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 That's, better, right. That's as good as it's going to get. That's a very very he gets a plus for that. Definitely. It, it, it's, be it's better than negative two. You know yes. what? I'll let you roll it. Maybe we can get some hero points going right about oh, now. No. Oh, I, I will absolutely <laughs> use hero points on this boy. Because you uh, you're going to know All if right, it succeeds so or fails I, I, right I, away. So you could do the roll. I don't need to do the roll. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a 10 plus 5. And I'm going to give you an yeah. extra five for uh, using all your other junk for, as for a RP. distraction. And the RP, and you manage to succeed in throwing all your other junk in your backpack along with the book, and you manage to leave the recruiting station unaccosted. Awesome, we get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay. When, when we're very far away, I'll, I'll I'll take a look at the book. Well. Thank Mr. God. Paying attention, by the way. Yeah. Well. All right. So, Mr. Peepers is it. finally glad that he is out of line and he can get up and talk to this woman. Mr. Peepers is going to show her the tattoo that he has on his arm. And you're back. I thought you uh, didn't want to join. I'm by. Yeah. Well, I was behind this guy. Like uh, this guy took forever. Uh, he's <laughs> he's going to show the tattoo, and he's like, "Do you know what to do with this? Like about this?" Like this tattoo? Yes, that's a tattoo of the savior and queen of our beloved country. Uh, many people have such tattoos. I presume you are a loyal citizen, yes? Absolutely, I'm a patriot. I, 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 I'm coming here for the thing, for the Rockfish Inn. There's like a booklet or something you need to give me. <laughs> 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 Ah, oh my god. Ah, <laughs> you're going to end up with a tr you're going to whole body's going to be covered with prison tattoos by the end of this adventure. <laughs> oh my god. You're going to get the set, the whole set, the action pose <laughs> all over the world. She's like she's like guards. <laughs> <laughs> What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? It says, please escort this halfling off the premises. He seems Aww. to be demented in the head and confused. He's wasting my time. And I strongly advise you don't come back around here again, if you know what's good for you. Well, it's apparent that somebody doesn't know their spycraft very well, so I'm obviously wasting my time. And sure enough, two of the guards come up and briskly escort you off the premises, throwing you into the dirt with a heave-ho and say, behind your back, it says, it's always a shame when those weak of mind get confused and try to join the illustrious guards. Don't you come back here again, confused one. So what does the book say? <laughs> it's the Necronomicon. <laughs> Let's see. That's, that's awesome. You look at the book, and you find that it contains a ledger showing that a guard named Elevard recently sold an expensive piece of art to Belmadrius herself. 
that's interesting. All right, so uh, so so I talked to Thor. Like, is this guard? Do you think this is guard? Is the guard that she's referencing to that that'll be? Yes. Uh, yeah. And so that's, it. that's it's the, the name, same yes. name. Yeah, it's the same name. Right. And, and so somehow this is leverage on him that like like so it was, we might be able to pull that out. I don't understand how he sold our work to who? Bellamarius, the um, the rune lord herself. Why would that like? Well, how would? How, why does she think that that would be of use to us? I'm a little unclear about that because that doesn't seem like something incriminating. That's a, like that doesn't seem like that doesn't seem like something that would give leverage on somebody to compel somebody of something. Good old gather information could probably find out more about this. Well, the thing is to. that she this is someone else that she wants us to get out. That's this is an extra person that wants to get out. Maybe. He, you know, I was time. wondering about that. Like, like what I took from that interchange was that was that this was an angle to help us get the last person out. Like, th- like this would be a guard that we have to get past that we could th- that we could work past no, to get that last person. out. I thought that he himself wanted to get out. That's what I took from it. No, I thought it was. I was with Seth. I thought that she was kind of hinting that this guy might w- be willing to help us get. Yeah. Right, right, right. Which also would make sense because I know we were we, like we had a limitation on the total. Uh, we had a, I guess we could bring extra people, but we had a limitation on how many people we could bring in. Well, no, but that's the thing is like we're already got extra people now. Like we're gonna have to deal with that both. All right, whatever. Well, they, my, yeah, well, my my take was that this was that this was uh, a, an aid to solve that last problem of of getting past that guard and get and getting the last person out on the uh, thing. That, that's what I took. But it might be maybe we we, we got to talk to the tax to the tax collector because I remember the tax collector uh, part of the reason why he wants to get out is because he saw some kind of irregularity or something. So maybe there's a connection. Yeah. Like maybe the, like you know like maybe maybe the thing that like the thing that he sold to the rune lord was tainted in some way. Right. It was, like, it was some kind of forgery or something. And it's yeah. Like, and maybe it all maybe, done, maybe, right? maybe yeah maybe all the threads will come together when we get that last person. Yeah, the fa- the family seems to have the least intrigue. They just are tired of living here and want to leave. At least on the surface, they right, seem to have right, the least right, intrigue. right. And, and I gotta say, I gotta say, I was very skeptical of that guard, but now I'm less so. Like, I'm still yeah. not a hundred percent. Like, I was wondering if we should actually get the dwarves out of the inn and stow them someplace else, just in case the guards come raiding the place. But but, but maybe we can also trust the guard. I don't know what do you guys think. We might I think we still can want to do that for the. We might still want to do that for the initial meet, but that's yeah. And then like, then if she shows up with an entire troop of guards, we can. Oh, there must have been some misunderstanding. I mean, from a meta point of view, Pathfinder Society adventure is supposed to be done in two, three hours. Like, right, you I'm got way it. overthinking everything. We're way over. No, no, way you're right. It. No, I think you're right. You know, Except you're right. Mr. Peepers, who is underthinking everything. <laughs> That's really funny. No, I think you're right. I think, I think we would be right. done. Think... We would be done if uh, we're calling the shots. Right. You if guys... you mean by us all being <laughs> dead, <laughs> you would all be yeah. in jail <laughs> <laughs> with, 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 with prison tattoos. I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is in fact right. a true statement, but not right. in the way John means. <laughs> and, and, and in under three hours too. That's true. That would be quick. Yeah. Quick well. Hey, Rob, aren't you glad you made a really strong fighter for this adventure? I finally made a fighter. Uh, you've, been using, a you've been using that AOO left and right. Ro- oh, that's right. You haven't even drawn your weapon once. This is, this is uh, yeah, like th- this is like the, yeah, this like there's like no fighting here. Like every single situation is if you start a fight, you lose. Like if you start a fight, you're dead. Yeah, I, like, you know so what? Far, I like that. I like that. Guard, <laughs> what moments away? Yeah, I was moments away from attacking that guard that found up that discovered me out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you well, didn't walk over. I was like gripping tightly on my. Oh uh, well, it's battle axe. it's a stressful uh, thing. Well, you know, it's not too bad. I mean, Mr. Peepers just has a prison tattoo, but it can get significantly worse. I mean, you can end up. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. It can end up getting pretty bad. Oh, you could die. <laughs> and, that, and that is a really good point. Like, this is supposed to be done in a couple hours. Like, this is really actually bing, bang, boom, and I am overthinking it. Like, I'm expecting, like, I'm expecting a traitor. I'm <laughs> yeah. Expecting yeah, you're like, the, the guards are usual suspects here. It's not the yeah, guards, yeah. it's the king of the guards, and, and every yeah. guard has a Medusa's eye. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> the family with the two children. The children are, are actually yeah. evil. <laughs> 
No, frankly, I'm like think, I'm thinking of things that I would do, and I would absolutely have one traitor. I would have yeah, one of them be a, be a traitor. traitor. I could definitely yeah, see if this, that. If this was a full scenario, yeah, like, yeah, I agree. Traitor would I be agree. almost guaranteed. I agree. For a, path, for, a, I agree. for a society game, it may all be straight up. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So where were we? You manage to go to the guard station and see if you were able to perhaps talk to one of the guards, I believe there was Garla, and you believe you convinced her to meet you someplace, somewhere, and after a million failed attempts, got some book, and have spent most of your day here, as it's been a cavalcade of silliness, of people going online, going off the line, going on the line, going off the line. It's just an endless clown car of shenanigans. But finally... It's the afternoon, and you got the book. Now what? I say let's go talk to the the accountant, Themelin, and because because we only got Themelin and and Daffrid next, and take a guess that maybe Themelin the he seems to found an innocent error involving numbers, and now lives in constant fear of being found out. Let, let's hope that that connects with the book to show that this guard is an embezzler. And that gives us leverage on him, and that solves our problem of getting that last person out. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Seven, eight. Well, unfortunately, you do the math, and it's going to take you... You don't have time to make it over to the Ministry of Tithes before it's nighttime. So you can either spend a little bit more time here, or it looks like you're going to have to go back to the Rockfish Inn, or... You guys can all get tattoos in jail overnight. It's up to you. And it's the same. We don't have time nope. to make it to the Arcanum Abjurant either. Can we, we can no. split the party, well, can't we? Well, it takes you about two hours to get there, and you only have two hours till till curfew. So well, let's, that, let's, so let's just make it there and we'll then sleep. make it back. We should sleep. We should yeah, sleep. yeah, yeah. We'll go, back, go back and sleep. Go back to the inn. Go well, back no, to we, the inn? No, 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 no. We, okay. we still have time today, though, no? Uh, that's what he's just saying. He's saying we don't really, we don't, we don't have time to to settle either Themelin or Drafid. And we, I guess, we have a couple we hours to do something. Yeah, that's what he just said. Well, well, you could do stuff at the inn, obviously, if there's anything you want to do there. The problem is, it takes about two hours to get anywhere, and you only have two hours till curfew. So if you, if you went there, you didn't have, you wouldn't have time to get back to the inn. Mm-hmm. You need two gotcha. hours there and two hours to the inn. So you can either go to the inn, which will get you there in time for curfew, which is good. And then, I don't know, do whatever stuff you want to do in the inn. Sounds good. But that's about it. And for the moment, we still got time. If we really start to get rushed, we could like split split the party yeah. and handle two at a time. So. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Plenty of it's time. Like, it's like we still, if I remember correctly, we have two days for the secret tunnel. And then the, and then the next day... Is is the out is the is the dock? If I remember, it's the dock. Have, that's how we leave. Yes, the secret tunnel is in the beginning of day four, and the ship is on day five. You are at the end of day two, so you basically have one more day before you have to worry about the secret tunnel and getting people out. So, uh, uh, okay. Oh, well, actually, maybe we could figure this out. Uh, we should probably do this at the end. We should probably go back to the end and, and plot our next day to optimize it. I wonder, like, uh, like, where is the Ministry of Tithes in relation to the Arkham Abjurant? And maybe if we could do those both, both in one day, that would be awesome. Sure. You can go back to the inn. But from what you know, in essence, it takes about two hours to get anywhere. So if you go to the inn, you get up, you have eight hours. It'll take about two hours to get to the first place and then two hours to get to the second place. So you can definitely get the both in one day. It's just a question of how long doing what you need to do will take. That's really the question. So, because getting there might take two hours, but then what you need to do might take who knows, however long. So, okay, I think we should just. I, there's nothing I want to do, so I can just. I would just rest, sleep, get an early start. Okay. Yeah, resting's fine. Same. Okay, you go to the inn. Sure enough, the guards are there again. Does Mister Peepers go with the guards, or does he sleep at the inn tonight? Um. Is a room in the inn? I never, I never got into nope, the inn. Nope, you have to sleep no, in the main. No, there's no room for Mister Peepers, unfortunately. Sorry. You sleep at the, you sleep in the manger with Joseph and That's Mary. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. There's room in the inn. I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking the big bed. 
Well, then why'd you ask? <laughs> you can sleep in a, in a potato air. sack, you little you little guy. <laughs> what, what about what about curled up next to the fire like a cat? You could do that. Yes, in a burlap sack. That would be lovely. So, uh, so can, no, Seth, you, you, a real cat would sleep in the center of the biggest bed. There's no cat by the fireplace. Uh, that's true. You get to the inn. Yuleg has a rather large dinner ready for all of you. His daughter ah. is looking much better now, and she's helping organize the place. And he's like, come in, come in. Make sure you get in before curfew. Come on, come on. And, and she's very happy that his daughter is up and about. And Ver Verna is, is feeling much, much better. You're looking much better, Verna. Oh, thank you, thank you. I so, have to say, so, this, this so curfew let me, is... Let me ask you. She's, she's, now she's feeling much better. She wants to get down to brass tacks. And she's like, so... So what's the plan? I know where I know where the cove is. I know how to get there. It sounds like we're gonna have Flitch come with us. Um, are we gonna go there? Is that is that what we're gonna be doing? Seth, I'm only asking because you know we need like a boat or something, right? I mean, there's we are contracted for two more, and we must sort them out before we can make our final plans. I'm sorry. We I know that you are anxious. I know you want a definite okay, answer, okay. don't we all? Okay. But I mean, we must settle our arrangements first. That's fine. That's fine. You know, we can't swim, right? I mean, it's uh, the boat's going to be several hundred feet out in the cove. I mean, we have to be able to get from shore to the boat, right? It would be low tide. No, that's actually not true. Yes, it'll be low tide, but it's still 40 feet, 50 feet deep, filled with there's, sharp there's, rocks. The water will be low enough that there'll be a raft. Oh, so you have a raft? That's what we've been told. There will be a raft. First things first. We must arrange. Oh, another okay. Passenger. I didn't know. I didn't know you had a raft. That's great. That's great. There's not one there now. I mean, I don't see any. I mean, but if you have one, great. I'm looking forward to it. That, that would be a great idea. We don't have a raft. We don't have you a have raft. Do you have to procure one? Hmm. Is That's that the I'm deal? Asking. You know, I'm trying to find yeah, out. She's like, probably she's like, need yeah. A raft. I mean. You have you have me. You have a boat or a raft, or we have some way to get. To like, the if ship. we don't have a boat, like, like Steve, do we know whether or not we have a boat? Because I have don't. nothing. Okay, all right, okay. That, that's what I, oh, I thought. There was be one like waiting there. <laughs> no, yeah, right. I, yeah, all there's right, a so ship. We definitely need. To, okay, so we need to buy. To get to. Okay. I guess. Well, I thought they were gonna lower a dinghy and bring it over to us. I dare say we are being distracted <laughs> by uh, minutia. By Venetia, yes. You know what? First things this first, is... we have an agenda. Tomorrow is the work of getting the next two passengers. Then, the day after, uh, the finaliz uh, finalization of the arrangements. That is when we need to make that decision. Well, yeah, because I was under the assumption that the boat came with like them going to bring us, you know, take their their longboat right. and, and pick us up and then bring They're us over. waiting there. for us. So we have to come up with our own transportation. That's a whole other kettle of fish. Like, we need to... Yeah, that, I, I think I think yeah, I I think that it, I think that's the, I think that is the the case. Like because because uh, like I'm like my memory is a little shake is is a little shaky, but I think it was just like I think the only thing we were given was the passageway and the boat would be there. Like uh, and we did look and I, and we didn't see any transportation from the mouth of the of the secret passageway to wherever the boat would be. So I think I think that is a problem we got to solve. We got to solve like exactly how we're going to get from you get across the water, but uh, I do think that uh, we got we got to think about that after after we've locked down these last two, right? About only five people can go on the raft. Yeah, like only five people can go through the passageway. That entire route is five. If I remember because right. why? Be, 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 because it was explicitly stated <laughs> in a number yeah, of different yeah. ways. So does so that the mean why we can't can... we have five boats with five people each? You know what I mean? Oh, like... I remember. No, no, no. I remember. No, no, no. It was the uh, it, it was the guy on the other side. He was the, he was the, he was the problem. The uh, he like only our... wants five people from the passage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He only wants five people from the passage, and then, it was and then a whole any, back and, and forth. any number of people a different way. Right. No other way. He like the, like because I remember this back and forth now. Uh, he was like uh, five people. Anybody else, I'd have to make a second trip, and I'm not making a second trip. Period! Exclamation point. That's it. Five people were done. Uh, that, I remember. So I remember the back a, and forth. It was a limitation of the captain, not a limitation of the boat we were going to get on I, I, to I, get to the I, ship. 
or whatever arrangements we're going to make to get to the ship. I, th I think it's a limitation of, of the ship. I, I'm definitely confused as to that whole arrangement then. Basically, they only have room to smuggle five people out through this boat. That's all they have is... is five have... people, regardless of how they get there. Right? Yes, There's they only also have room in... for five people to smuggle. And then, right. to get and then people we are going to take you, the overflow. That's on you. you got to figure out if how you're going to yeah. smuggle those people out. So this is a lot of you got to figure out what you're doing, buddies. Yeah, so... yeah, yeah, but 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 this is good to clarify this because because my because like our characters would know at this point what the deal is. So five can go by that secret passage of the boat, and the rest come with us in some other way that we have no, to no, figure no. out. No, correct. no, no, the, no. The, it's actually oh, correct. Actually, the other that is correct. correct. No, that, that is correct. That is but wait, wait, wait. But it wasn't. But hold on. So let's clarify this because 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 what because it wasn't some other way that we have to figure out. It was. Through guards at the docks at the main entrance with us, the way we're getting out from like from from, from like from, from like from like the exit from the, right, uh, right. like on, uh, we're like leaving through, through, through the gates with papers. Right, 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 right. But you so, so not like not like gate. some other weird way, you know, over a wall. Oh no 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 no, was, no, no, was, no 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 no. no. This is right, another way to figure out how to get them past the guards, though. Exactly. So so it was like it was like it was like five secret passage. One pass the guard, like it was the that, problem that's is, the problem is we're picking up extra people now because the you know this guy is, at the end is only supposed to be one or how, however now many it is however many it is like well, one, what, I mean, the, but, the, but the problem is we have there are five people that he wants out. Each of these five seem to have significant others sometimes, and that's so there's like the daughter, like the daughter was not on the list, like she's an issue. No, no, you're right. No, you're right. You're right. Right. So I, 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 I just on the list. it's like it's she's like on the list. one batch. She's on the list. Right. There's one batch numbering a maximum of five through the secret passageway. Everyone else past the guard. Right. You have a total of nine at least that you're going to have to get out if you do everything correctly. Right. And when, when this was when we started this, it was five. No, it was always no. nine. No, it was, it was always it was, nine. It's it was five Filch. Of it was Thelman. It was Yoleg and his daughter. It was Defrid and her family and Garland. And that's nine. Yeah, that you know it's, of. It's five contacts. We have five points of contact with uh, nine people total. Right. You're, th you're thinking five because there's five named NPCs. There's five named named yeah. NPCs, and and there's and there's a and there's a number of hangers on. Well, that's the problem because I mean, on the list it says okay in bold it says Uleg owns the Rockfish Inn. Nice guy. Just wants a better life for him and his daughter. Uh, I see. That's it. Only him. him. Only you. Like, like, no, like, no, 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 no. And his daughter. No, no, no. And his daughter. That's a graphic, hey, that's a graphic design. Like, like, read, read the, like, read, yeah, like, read the, read the, read the entry for. Read uh, the card. For, yeah, read the card. <laughs> no, no, read the entry yeah, but, for what's her name and her family. Like, like that's actually very. He wants a better life for him and his daughter. Right. Yes, exactly. For him and his daughter, a better life elsewhere. That impl that that is implicit that they're both going. But read the other one about the woman and her family, where it's very explicit that she's taking them with them. Also, we don't necessarily need uh, to yeah. take these people out on a boat. Like we could take them on like a dolphin, or if we get fancy, like a hippocampus I actually, or something. I actually like that. have an apparatus of qualish, so I, I'm good. Oh yeah, let's take them out on our dolphins. I forgot about our dolphins. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. People might train dolphins to do stuff. We don't know this city. Yeah, let's well go to enough. the local Sea World. I oh. hear, I hear this town has an amazing aquarium. Oh, maybe oh. you can go on a little heist and steal some dolphins and scan <laughs> them out. Yeah, guys, I'd don't steal humpbacks. Let's steal humpback don't, whales. Don't let. Don't let. I know what Steve is doing. Do not, not put that. ideas in Peeper's head. It's, yeah, don't. don't I know badly. what Steve is doing. You got to watch out for him. He's wily. He he is throwing red herrings left and right, and, and he's, putting, he's putting hooks out, and, and he's angling for John. He is angling for. <laughs> hey, we don't, that? That? we don't know that. that. Reverse Trojan <laughs> horse, where we build That's a horse and smuggle ourselves out of town. Uh, question, Steve. Uh, do you like what are what are your thoughts on splitting the party to like maximize our time? That that's a pain in the ass for you. It's always an excellent way to get yourselves killed quickly. So I am okay totally for it. Okay, so we're all right, all right. As long as we can, you know, as long as that doesn't make things a problem, we can uh, work that. Uh, if we if the clock is the enemy, that's what we do. Well, it's not the enemy yet. I think we can do. I mean, we we can get the others 
today, I think, in one day, right? So are you doing anything tonight? You have eight hours before it's Betty by. Is there anything you wish to do during those eight hours? And then we'll... I build a raft. Oh, okay. You decide to build a raft. What is your crafting? Uh, I, will, I will help you. Oh, uh, God, don't. What oh, God, is your crafting? Don't. I have a crafting and blacksmithing. Same. Of what? Nice. You do? Both of you? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. You go uh, downstairs. It's pretty good. It's a plus five. Okay. Yep. Both of plus you five. go down, and there is lots of materials, blankets, pillows, towels, linens, basins, uh, beds, drawers, barrels. You think that you could barrels. put yeah. together and, and make Did you a have blanket? crafting, a rude craft. Yeah. It'd probably take you about eight hours to craft barrels into a raft. Oh my god, it's amazing. Oh my oh, gosh, you have pillows, they're actually, they're actually more doing that? blankets, yeah, we're doing four it. people. Uh, so are both of you, are each of you going to try to craft your own rafts? Well, I mean, how much how so, many so is this actually so, so this is work? outside wait, so this is outside the normal crafting rules where they do some kind of four day bullshit and then you roll dice, right? This this this, this Correct. Must be ah, so that's all oh, good. You hit on something. So this is unique to this adventure. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I I, I I I mean if she's not a tra a trader, then she's was on was trying to clue us in. So yeah. Uh, oh, that's good. All right, yeah. that's good. All right. So do we need to build well, I have, two? I have, I, have, I have crafting as well. Who wants to go downstairs and start woodworking on your your raft? It'll take probably Me. eight hours. You know, oh my God, okay. you know. Let's take okay. let's take care of these. Are, wait, how how do we get the a roll wait, of craft? So before yeah. we build before we build a, bo a boat in a basement and then can't get it through the door, can we figure out how we're getting it to where to the water before we start building? Yeah, you would basically have to build it into some pieces and fold it up and then carry it with you to the cove. Yeah, we're merchants. Oh, we so, we, so we can arrange that. We have just take, if we build some of it that, that looks, you know, there are barrels. We have we have shelves that we have to take places and set up, yeah. right? Yeah. That's what we tell yeah. people. And then yeah. we that just can be, that, that can be, remember, remember the uh, barrels of fish? And there was like, mm -hmm. and we were like, wonder, we were wondering if we could hob it underneath the barrels of fish. Well, maybe yeah. we can't, we can't, mm -hmm. maybe we can't do it with a person, but maybe we can do it with, with the boat. Maybe we could, maybe we could hob That's it. That's the whole and, point. And yeah. there's yeah, your yeah, fish, yeah. John. In fact, your raft could have fish attached to it to make it feel like the fish yeah. are making the raft move. Well, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> like a team of horses. Yeah, yeah it's like it, a team of horses. If it like felt like, yeah, if it felt like it's a like team mush, of horses, mush. that would make. Now like, we need the dolphins. Like, it's 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 like a, a dog sled instead of it's a, it's a it's a fish sled fish no right fish as long as the team is working together and it feels like you know are, they're a part of a unit I think that's actually a really good thing. All right, Actually, so how yeah, many team people building. can a raft take? By the way, well, you go it, down. It, it would have to be five. It looks like five. five it would have, no, no, five plus us. It, would it have looks to be like building a average size raft in one day. You can get four creatures on an good raft if you do a perfect job you might be able to fit six so who wants to build a raft first? you might have to build two because right or all right well, make, we get lucky a couple trips we'll all right let's see i actually i don't think i get my plus one crafting bonus because it's a plus one circumstance bonus when crafting items of type blacksmith which is, is correct not. so this it's is plus, not this is woodwork so it's a so plus four right, so plus four Okay. I, I am plus five, if that is of interest to you. Trained plus yeah. five crafting. Then well, you are the lead crafter. crafter. Whoever wants to build their own raft can build. Or you can just aid another, but you only get a plus one if you roll a DC 20. <laughs> and that's it. So, And you can critically fail. So F yeah, no, right. Are, are we Everyone? looking at the crafting skill? Yes. Crafting oh, if you're trained. Mr. You're Peepers trained, is though. making his own crafting roll. You do not. You're not trained in crafting. What's I have a plus four. Are you trained in it? I don't know. I can't tell. For what? For does, that, does that have a T? Is, it, is there a T next to it? Are you trained in crafting, Mr. Peepers? Uh, I do have rank one. So hold on. Let me see. Let me go to Hero Lab and check. It might be. Oh, my God. I'm going to look. 
crafting. Oh my god, he's trained in crafting. Mr. That's Peepers. right. Of course I'm trained That's in great. crafting. Come Mr. On. Peepers is a man what? of the people. I can't Crafting poisons? Like, what is he trained in? All right, all right, guys. This is exactly what we have to do. Do you, do you know those uh, competitions they have in small towns where it's like everybody builds a bullshit boat? It's a yeah. buggy competition. Yes, we We're all have to. Buggy. We all have to build a raft, and whoever is, is prettiest, that's the one we use. <laughs> Nella, does Nella have crafting, or is Nella just Nella gonna... does not have crafting? Oh. I did think about taking crafting, but I think I passed for whatever reason. Well, you know what you can do, Nella. Actually, the daughter is still a little sick, so if you want to tend to her and try to get rid of the virus completely, that would be very helpful. Okay, if she's yeah, if she's still ailing, I'm willing oh, to she's still spend my time doing this. Yeah, she's in stage two. She went from stage three to stage two. So, if you could still help her while these fellers go downstairs and See, try what, to we're, burn what's going to happen is we're going to get her healthy, and she's going we're going to realize that she's actually an Olympic caliber swimmer, and she doesn't need a raft. Correct. She said okay. she couldn't even swim. All right, so okay. you guys can put your hammers down. Here we go. Who who's put your hammers down? <laughs> I made. <laughs> I made us a, a C worthy vessel. <laughs> you, rolled, you rolled a six. We're going to see how they upload. This craft is good for sea and lake. All right, let, let, me, see, let me see what mine looks wow. like. Wow. Okay, that's, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. I attached a big anvil to it. I don't know any roll? better. Yes, please roll, everyone. I want to see. Thorgrim gets a six. Good job, I, I, I need I need a good motif. Like, what's a good right. motif? I do like the fish motif. I think I'm going to deploy the fish motif. I was going to do that. Oh, uh, that's so fancy. Hmm. Uh, Nick's not, not Nox. Not Nick's bad. Nox. He rolls uh, 15 as his I, I, fish I effectively motif took crab. 10. Okay. Who's All right, next? so Mr. 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 Peepers is going to cut a barrel in half and make it look like a giant clam that is opened up. That's going to be his motif. And he is going to roll now with a plus four to crafting, which he's trained in. And he rolls Whoa. a three for a seven. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. Oh, there you go. Lord. Wow. <laughs> Another seven. Oh, Think all of us rolled threes. Seven. All this of us. Raft. Mr. Peepers rolls a seven. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. After eight hours, everyone <laughs> looks around and we see the. Let's see. We look around. Um, Thordens is ruined, and all he did is destroy the barrel. And uh, that that barrel's gone, and the raft is just falls apart. Mr. Peepers looks pretty good. As soon as you blow on it, it collapses into a heap, Aww. and it also is destroyed. There's nothing Aww, remaining like of that one. Damn. Uh, Thorgrim's is made out of anvils and metal, which is the exact opposite of floating. So his will yeah. not work whatsoever. And Nix Knox, he actually made some headway. But his is not done yet. He needs more time and at least another day crafting wow. his raft. So after a full night of working, you have exactly zero rafts. In fact, you have negative three rafts because three of them, you destroyed all the materials in trying to make rafts. That's how bad they were. Wow. All right. Oof. So here, here's my suggestion because this is actually quite difficult. My suggestion is we do split the party. I stay here and work on my boat. I try to add a couple of sidecars. You guys go and try to collect the other two guys, and that way we'll we'll have an extra day when when our rolls screw us and we need an extra day. Are, are you happening. trained in crafting, Nick Knox? I I am absolutely trained in crafting. All right. Not only I am I crafting? I actually have the instructions. I have a crafting book. I, I I've been working from a plan. You see, that's uh, your problem. You weren't working from a plan. I actually have a plan. Yeah, in my book. I'm trained. All right. So well, are you sure you problem. can do this? There's only six barrels, and three of them have been destroyed. So <laughs> you only have three left. One of them, Nick Knox, is still working I on. I think I should. So there's only I'm two barrels left, and that's it. You, know, and then there's you no don't more need crap. me for these. You're, you're not going to need me to heal you. I'm also going to be building a raft when Nick Knox sinks into the drink. That's that's a good idea, actually. And and then and you guys go and do the you guys do go do go do the talking. And we'll just stay here and work on the boat. Let's see if Nella did any better. Nella, give me a um, a medicine check to see if you helped the poor daughter feel any better. As you just hear a lot of screaming and yelling and 
like horrible Cursing. sounds coming from the basement and realizing they all come up and they're just covered in soot and ash and it's like i don't know what they were making down there but well, a 16 is not the uh boat making a equi- boat making equivalent of a medicine check but it's not but great. more than enough she feels great she is much better she's down to stage one she's almost completely healed nella knows her abilities of medicine so with that the dwarf goes downstairs and he sees and sees like all these barrels destroyed and only one sort of raft being created and he just shakes his head and says I sure hope you guys can smuggle out better than you can make rafts otherwise we're all gonna be dead Oh man, this guy doesn't know what we're working with. Oh my god, this makes oh, this makes me so mad. Barrels are not good raft equipment. All I know is yeah, that. Yeah, if you knew anything <laughs> about crafting, you wouldn't say something like this. We got to try and MacGyver this crap into a yep. raft. Oh. MacGyver was an old dwarf from my clan <laughs> <laughs> who tried to. He would make things out of weird things, and they would work. Old MacGyver blood hammer. <laughs> Tell me more about this Houdini fellow of yours. <laughs> okay. Well, he's like, ah, let's just go upstairs and drink a little. Let's put this uh, out of your mind. And goes upstairs, gives you all some hot toddies. And I think it's, we have to leave, right? This is the next time day, isn't it? Or do we... Well, now it's time to go to sleep. And you wake now up. Now it's time to go to sleep. Now it's the next okay. day. Bright and early. Day number three. You got eight hours of sunlight before you have to get back. What do you do? You've been listening to Roll for Combat, Tales from the Black Lodge. If you have a question or comment for the show, please visit us at rollforcombat.com. You can also find us and play various games on our Discord channel, at discord.rollforcombat.com. You've been listening to Roll for Combat. Until next week, always remember when your GM smiles at you, it's already too late.